So my name is David Bain, I'm the Chief Executive of the Care Quality Commission and I've got a background in health and social care. I was a social worker, a director of social services. Uh, I've worked at national government level, I've uh, worked in regulators before and now I'm responsible for the quality regulator for health and social care in England. I think the Health Service Management Centre has got a long history and tradition of undertaking good high quality research in terms of leadership and management in health and care, but also uh, a good track record in um, postgraduate education of uh, those of us that work in health and care. Uh, I've been privileged to do uh, some work here in the past by coming and giving guest lectures and sharing the work that I'm doing with the students. and. Um, and I know that they go away and uh, work to improve uh, the quality and safety of health and social care in this country. So I see it as an important educational and research vehicle for improving the quality of health and care. Um, the NHS is um, 66 years old. It's, it's had a, a good and distinguished history. Uh, it's removed the fear and threat that people are grandparents had probably about not being able to afford health care in this country and it's really uh, supported the health of generations and looked after many many millions of people. And I think that uh, as a taxpayer system free at the point of delivery I think will remain over this next immediate period. I think the key challenges for health and care are about how we develop a culture of quality and safety. I think uh, Robert Francis's report is a seminal report and I think we need to take seriously the messages that he outlines about uh, how we develop a, a culture of quality and safety. And what I want to see is a renegotiation of the relationship between patients and those professionals that work in the NHS. So it's a relationship which is much more one of equals, uh, one where people work in partnership, I think the jargon term is co-production, um, where patients are seen as experts in the management of their own care. Uh, people with long-term conditions will, will often know more about how to manage their long-term condition than many of the so-called experts. So I think a renegotiation of the relationship. I think critically about renegotiating the relationship between staff and uh, uh, organisations that employ them. We know that highly engaged staff will deliver, deliver care which people have high degrees of satisfaction with. Uh, staff that aren't engaged deliver not good care quite frankly and I think understanding that relationship and really working to engage staff is key and then I think the third issue I'll be raising is the importance of leadership uh, leadership to ensure that we engage people that use services patients uh, family members their carers as well as staff in a much more open and transparent system which is as prepared to celebrate its successes at and learn from its failures. In elite sport, uh, sportsmen and women learn not just from winning the gold medals, but they learn from the days that they have a bad day on the track or in the swimming pool or on the circuit. And they take that learning and they use it to improve so they can be better and be world-class at what they do. And openness and transparency is critical to that.